The New York City Indie Theater Film Festival is back this Thursday, February 15th, and runs through Sunday. And now it's in its eighth year. The premier destination for independent theater artists to screen their work has a new home for 2024. Joining me now is the executive director and programmer of the festival, Mark Weitz, and producer and programmer, Allison Morgan. Welcome. Hi, thank you so much. Thanks for having us. So Mark, tell us why you created this festival. Sure, uh, back in 2016, mm -hmm. uh, I was producing theater at New Ohio Theater. And I just noticed that all of our artists were, were making uh, film or TV mm. content. It was kind of the golden age. It was sort of the end of the golden age of just all this streaming content that artists were making. Like Everyone had a web series mm -hmm. that they were making. And I thought, I, I want to give them a community, a place to, to gather, to meet collaborators, to screen their work, and uh, give audiences a place to find. That's work. great. Yeah. Um, Allison, you used to hold it in the Ohio Theater, as you were saying. Uh, after close, where is it being held this year? Yeah, unfortunately, we lost our home mm. of many years downtown. Uh, but the good news is we moved uptown, ah. just a couple blocks away from the studio. We're at the Jeffrey and Paula Garal Theater, uh, part of the Art New York Complex mm -hmm. on 53rd Street. So oh. we, are, we are moving on up. You're right around here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, talk about this year's lineup. Yeah, we have uh, a wonderful selection of 34 films. Mm. We've got 28 shorts, six feature films. Uh, and I just want to highlight on Saturday, we've got a little bit of everything. We're kicking off with a shorts block at 12 o'clock called Reflections. It's got an experimental piece by Matthew Modine, mm. who people might know from Stranger yeah. Things or Oppenheimer. Uh, we've got a literary agent panel at 2 o'clock for folks who are curious about how do you get into the business? You might want to stop by that. <laughs> uh, we got a little happy hour, and then at six o'clock, we've got shorts after dark for our horror fans, our oh. thriller fans, <laughs> uh, and then a feature film called Nice People at eight o'clock, which is a vignette about mm -hmm. um, short stories from the residents of Maine. Mm. Yeah, a little bit of everything. <laughs> <laughs> what sets this festival apart from you know other ones in the country, in the world? I mean, aside from its what it focuses on, which mm -hmm. is theater people. We're really the only festival for theater people who are making films. Mm. Uh, and I think the sense of community that the artists can find uh, is really sets it apart. And there are definitely films here that you're not going to see anywhere else. Uh, so we have a, a number of premieres, world premieres, New York premieres, things like that. Uh, but I, I think uh, there is a certain aesthetic that theater people can bring to when they tell stories. And this mm. is a great chance for audiences to see a different way of telling films. Um, and they're also going to see some artists that they may have seen on stage. Now they get to see them on, on film or even some of the theater actors they may love are now directing films. Mm. So I think it's a great opportunity for, for audiences to see people they like in, in a new way. What are you both most looking forward to? Yeah, we were talking about uh, our new home, mm -hmm. and this is a, a real chance for us to establish ourselves outside of the new Ohio mm -hmm. and bring in a new audience, a new community, uh, and new artists. There's there's one film, actually, it's really interesting. It's called The Karamazovs, mm -hmm. and it's an adaptation of the book. Um, and it was a play at the new Ohio in 2020. It was actually the last play uh, when the pandemic hit. So its run was, it was it was a play and it was interrupted by the pandemic. And it was the last play I worked on before I wound up leaving the new Ohio. And during COVID, they reworked it as a film. Wow. And so now we're screening it, it's the world premiere. So for me, it's a homecoming mm -hmm. to actually watch that come full circle. So I'm wow. looking forward Sounds to that. Sounds great. Yeah. Thank you both for being here. Thank you so much. I really much. appreciate it. <laughs> and for more information on the festival, including how to get tickets, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. We'll be right back.